Hello and welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters. We are playing as Kian right now. And let's see what our goal is. We've got to go to the rooster and kitten. So let's go check in there. We just had a big attack by the other faction. Let's see, it's up here. The rooster and kitten. See that gentleman sitting over there? Don't look, you simpletons. Balance. You lot don't know much about subterfuge, do you? That man's an Azadi mechanic. He drinks here most nights, but I didn't know that part until I overheard him speaking to his friend earlier about the pipes. Seems that with a pipe network up and running, there's a lot of tinkering to be done. Our man over there carries a tool to open maintenance hatches. If we can get inside a hatch... We can maybe figure out what they're using the pipes for. That's brilliant, Ulvik. So we slit his throat and dump him in the bay. Not in my bar, you won't. If they find out we've taken his tools, the information could turn out to be useless. No. We need Borrow to... Borrow his tools, open one of those pipes to have a look-see, and put the tools back before he notices. And that was probably what you were going to say when I interrupted you. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. If you can do it without him noticing, I won't stop you. But if the Azadi ever suspect that I'm collaborating with the Resistance... That will not happen, Ulvik. So what do we do, Kian? The others look to me for leadership now. It's important that I take charge and make the decisions. Ulvik brought this to our attention. It's only fair that I include him. Let's what do you think, Ulvik? Me? Well, I think you three are resourceful in uh, different ways. Instead of bickering about what to do, which is what usually happens, why not split up? True. There's every chance that one of you will come up with something that doesn't involve murder, the total destruction of my pub, or blowing my cover. I agree. We can't take too long. That man won't stay here forever. Well, let's He's slip on his something in his drink. drink. He usually doesn't leave until he's had at least three. And I can offer a few on the house to make him stay longer. It's decided then. We'll meet again here later this evening. Winner buys around for everyone. No? No? It's not very motivating? Okay. <laughs> she is kind of funny. Okay, we have to incapacitate him. What do we have? Nothing. Okay, well that doesn't help. Um... Mercurian patrons, Mercurian, which one is he? That's where we were. Is he this man sleep drinking alone? No. You wouldn't believe the amount of work that's required to keep the network running smoothly. Oh, the engineering is good, but the assembly is... Don't put military men on a civilian job, is all I'm saying. This. Is that him over there? No, where is he? The oh, is that him way over there? If that happens, shadow. Let's just say that it's all on. Nope, that's a lady. Those tubes will make our lives better. Really? How's that? Oh, it's gotta be this guy, huh? In the tubes. 
What, what do you call him here? Uh, okay, we don't want to talk to him had because. To clean out rat gizzards from a junction last week. Shadow take me. What a mess that was. See, once the blood and guts. Oh, look at the elder ever thirsty. Have you found anything yet? I'm working on it. Enu and Nico are still out looking. And you're not. You should get to it. Oh, hush. Okay, so what? We have to go find a potion or something? That'll make him sleepy? Oh, this guy's sleeping. Has he got something? Nope. Empty tables. Empty tables. An empty table again. Okay. Wait, I had an eye. This pipe has oh. a hinged panel in it, but I'll need a tool to open it. And that's what we're trying to get. Yeah. Why do we freeze? Goat eats leaves. Goat falls asleep. Oh. Interesting. Goat eats leaves. Goat falls asleep. Interesting. Wait, I remember someone talking about this a while back. What exactly are you doing to that goat? Should Nothing. I be jealous? Jealous? What? I don't understand what you're saying to me. Where have you been this past month? Away. Far away. Travelling, so... Uh... This goat, what's going on here? It's... Rebel business. Clearly. How's that working out for you? Are you one of them now? I'm atoning for my sins. Right. But you are enjoying it. I don't enjoy fighting my own people. Well, you seem to be good at it. Word is the resistance is gaining support, that people have hope now that you're there. I'm doing what I can to help. I heard you went soft on our vile little Azadi officer. If I'd known, I would have taken care of him myself. Not killing him makes some sense, a source in the tower and all, but for going torture, that's just a missed opportunity. <laughs> the thing about torture is that it's a seal of authenticity. It makes every piece of information more reliable. I understand your friends didn't take the officer's word for it. Well, even if you didn't pull out of Old Town, at least the Resistance put up a decent fight before. The important mm. thing is, many Azadi died that night. Chalice half full and all that. What do you want? Nothing. Nothing. I saw you. It's been a while. I wanted to say hello. Oh, I've missed this. The one-sided conversations. The sullenness and suspicion. I've come to enjoy it quite a bit. Anyway. Goats? We have a lead on the pipes. Oh, that explains everything. I'll leave you to it then. I'm going to the rooster later tonight. I need to speak with Olvik. Maybe I'll see you there. Maybe. This mm. is what I love about you, Keon. You're such a people person. Okay, that was a silly little exchange. Huh. Oh, even song. Okay, we got some even song. Now bring the even song to Ulfric. Who is in the rooster and kitten? This is even so. It works on goats. Well, then it should work on the Azadi too, eh? 
<laughs> well, could you walk any slower, guy? One more air on the house, da. Smells different. Malty, sweet. It's almost like the sugar ale from <laughs> Southern as a day. Now, this is a brew, Vic. Tastes like home, this does. It brings tears to my eyes. It's simply spit. Boom, and he's out. Okay, let's see what we can find. A pipe tool. Anything else? Oh, a map of the pipes. Okay. And that's it? Okay, we're not going to wake him up. Don't take too long out there. If he wakes up without his tools, there'll be questions and I won't have any good answers. Okay. Investigate the pipes. Well, we know where one is because we came across it uh, accidentally. Let's look at the map. Um, where's the map of the pipes? Do I have to look at it this way? Oh, okay. One there, one across from it, and access points. Huh. Okay. Okay, so we saw one here. It won't budge. It needs a special tool to open. Yeah, like this. There's okay. a powerful wind blowing from right to left, and it carries something with it. Too quick to see, too fast to grab. From right to left. Wait, what was that? Investigate the object passing through the pipes. I'll lose my fingers if I try and grab it. It's solid and it's swift. Okay, it's going from right to left. Well, there was supposed to be another one over across the way here. Right, here it is. It won't budge. It needs a special tool to open. Looks empty. There's a strong current of air flowing through it. Which way though? There's air flowing from right to left, like a tempest in a tube. Okay, where was the other one? Pipes access point, kind of in between behind some buildings. Okay. Oh wait, oh do I want one of those? Okay, what am I gonna do with that? Am I going to put it here? Ah, look at that. That didn't accomplish anything. Whatever's in there just bounces off the pipe. Okay. 
Um, can I do it on the other one? not letting me to put it there. Okay, let's look at this. This is what's called an arm in the parlance of the metal artisans. Okay. Do I need another pipe to go with it? Not from there, apparently. Oh, look at this, an angled pipe. Okay, can I combine them? No. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Oh, stop, go away. Put the angled one in here. Oh, and then it dropped it out. Okay, do I want that back? Okay, and what is this? Oh, look at that. Where did the orb come from? I should investigate where this pipe leads, hopefully to some answers. Okay, so it's going... There's a powerful wind blowing from right to left, and it carries right something with it. To left. Too quick so to see, there. too fast to grab. I still want to look at this a little closer. These orbs rattle through the pipes like bullets through barrels. Huh. Okay. So that pipe was coming alongside this big building up there. So I think we have to go back behind those guys. Is that another pipe I can grab? No. Nope. Neither is that one. Okay, so it's coming out of there, through there, through there, and down here. I don't know, somewhere up there. here. They've put up ornaments all over town for the festival of reaping. Harvest season is important in the Northlands. Oh, is it coming out of there and along here? And along here? Are we following it? 
Is this the right one? Aha. Uh -huh. We must have been going the right way then, so it's going up into that building. I need to find a way into that building tonight. Okay. Do I have to put the tools back first? Where's my goals? I guess not yet. Whoops, we're stuck. There we go. Now, which building are we going into? This one? Were you here when we had that horrible mess the other day? I don't think so. Well, one of them, uh, what are they called? Them ground crawlers. Rats? That's it, rats. One of them rats got into the pipes. Whoop! Got sucked right into the engine. Whoa. That doesn't sound good. Light, what a bloody mess. Literally, guts, bones, hair. So we need to get a wrap. And it was us who had to clean it. Engineers wouldn't touch it, said their hands are too valuable. I guess ours aren't. It's a soldier's lot, isn't it? We do the group work, that's how it goes. Well, I guess they think cleaning out rat guts is more important than us keeping watch and protecting them engineers in there. Yeah, guess so. Okay, so, find a way into the building at the hub of the pipe network, but we need to get rats. Goals updated. And put some rats in there. How am I going to get a rat? Use some of that food. <gasps> Look who's here. So we meet again, Azadi. Prepare your blade for battle. Goddess, it's late, boy. You should be in bed. So should you. What are you doing now? Chasing rats. In a sense. The boy. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Are you that hungry? Rats taste like sewage. Trust me, you're better off eating table scraps. Uh, I'm not eating the rat. I need it for... It's work-related. It is. Okay. Well, don't let me keep you from your rats. Are you just going to sit there? It's not every night I get a chance to watch you catch a rat. Fair point. Okay. Cheese and meat plates. It's a leftover cheese and meats plate. I've dined here. The food's good. I would never have left any bits uneaten. Okay, so we have a cheese bit. Ah, yams. A few weeks ago I'd never tasted yams. Now I can't get enough. I'm a budding yam aficionado. Oh, we could get those too. Okay. You're taking way too long. I'm getting bored. Okay. What am I going to do with it? Um... Yeah, I'm not going to catch him that way. Ah, they're too quick. You're not very good at catching rats, are you? <laughs> Ground crawlers. Filthy rodents. Can I put my cheese down there? They won't come close as long as I'm standing here. Right, so then what am I going to do? Then they eat it all. Oh, so close! Well, not really. 
Oh, you know what? Some of that sleeping stuff. Maybe that'll do it. Can I get some more of that? There we go. And let's combine that into the cheese. Aha! We'll put those rats to sleep. Okay. Here's some particularly potent cheese. Filthy shadow spawn. Eat it. Eat it all. Did they eat it? I don't know. And I don't care. It's a rat, and it's not moving. So we're going to take it. Okay. You got it! I really didn't think you would. I'm impressed. Well, that was fun. What's next? Next, you go home and stop distracting me. Or I'll tell the other street urchins you have fleas. I have no home. You know that. I sleep in the cellar of the rooster and kitten. Good. It's the safest place around. So go back to your cellar and keep your head down. If I see you again tonight... Please, got it. I'm sleepy anyways. That's why I'm going back. Not because you're telling me to. And don't throw pebbles at Azadi soldiers. Okay, do we need to put these tools back? I'm getting worried about that. I don't want to cause trouble. And I don't see where we still need them. But I'm sure it'll let me know. Did it return it? It did. He's dead to the world, knocked out by Evensong. He's out like an Eradian soldier on Rose Eve. You can grab his toolbox now, but be subtle about it. The room has eyes. Okay, well I was, and I used it, and I put it back, I do believe. Okay. So let's go put our rat in our thing. In our pipe and I do believe it needs to go into the one on the right into this one off it goes Ew. What was that sound? It was a squishy sound, sort of like... A squishy sound? You've got to be kidding me. Not again. Shut a damn ground crawlers. I guess it's on us to clean up the mess. That bloody engineer in there is not going to do it. So yeah, it's on us. Okay. Right. Well, let's get to it. No time like the present. So now I can get into the building? I like that music. Good sneaking music.
Oh, look at that. Wow. Investigate the building to learn more about the pipes. Okay. Um. More metal tubes leading down to these odd tables. I don't think we want him to see us. He's one of the people who work here. I've noticed others like him entering and exiting. They're odd looking. Oh, they're odd looking? What was that? We had an... I don't know what these are, but they put me in mind of a lady's vanity. Except with knobs. <laughs> lots and lots of knobs. More of those odd metal orbs. They're doing something to them here. Altering them. The orbs appear to be an important part of the machinery. I wonder what will happen when I push one of these knobs. I don't uh, think we want to do that zombies. yet. But maybe eventually. Is there something here? How close can we get to him? These are probably work tables. Although I've never seen work tables with gauges and meters and knobs before. Stairs. Am I going to just go up and talk to him? There's mathematics on that board. Oh, oh. Um, I guess so. You're not supposed to be here. This place is for engineers only. Please leave or I'll be forced to call the guards. I have a very loud voice when I'm scared. One sound and you'll be standing on the slopes of the first mountain, yelling at clouds. Ooh. This. Oh. No problem. I'll be quiet as a... You're from Azadir. I've seen your profile in embroideries. I never forget a nose. A nose. You're the Apostle. Apostle Elvani. You're famous. Maybe once. Now I'm just Kian. Your turn. My, my turn? What? Your name. Who are you? Fridaos. I'm... For Dows, lead engineer. I don't know what that means. What do you do? Don't you know? I, I thought you would have known. You know, from back when you were... I'm in charge of the team that encodes the spheres that make the engine tick. What engine? The engine that... <laughs> you, you know, the engine. There's only one engine. The one that encompasses the entire city. It's, it's what all the pipes are connected to. Didn't they tell you anything when you were, you, you know, before you were a traitor? Assume that I know nothing. What is this engine for? The engine calculates. That's why they call it the calculating engine. <laughs> Big numbers, complex equations. I, we, my team, we give the engine instructions about how and what to calculate. This is called coding. I, I understood none of that. You can't be here. You're a fugitive, and, and, um, this is a restricted zone. That's like two things that mean you shouldn't be here, and I could probably think of more if you need me to. I have a sword, and I'm bigger than you. Those are two things that count in your favor, granted. So what does this calculating engine do? What's its purpose? 
I'm, I'm really not supposed to. Right. Bigger and sword. As I said, it calculates. I mean, it does more than that, but that's what it was built to do. It's core functionality. It adds, subtracts, multiplies numbers, big numbers, and it does things with those numbers. Like, um, like, have you ever watched the stars in the sky at night? I'm not just a man with a sword. Of course. And you've seen how those stars move across the sky. Using a calculating engine, we can actually track those stars and predict where they're going to be in a year from now, or a century, or where they were a century ago. Why are you tracking stars? Well, we're not. I mean, it's just an example. We're not actually tracking stars. I mean, sure, we could if we wanted to, but... We're tracking dreams. Dreams? Dreams are very complex, which is why we need a big engine with lots of ticking parts to make complex calculations and predictions. Right. So, the part about not just being a man with a sword? Assume that's all I am and start over. Yes, fine. Um, those pipes crisscrossing the city, they're sort of like, um, like speaking tubes connecting a hundred sage masters, each with his or her own field of specialty. So, it's like a university? Well, I guess. Yes. Yes, this is a good comparison. A whole city filled with clever brains. The spheres pass messages between the different masters, and between them and us. We write messages, and we interpret messages. We tell the individual brains what to think about, and then they do the thinking, and report back to us. Now, this allows us to write ever more complex messages, until finally we have the code we need. The ultimate message. That one we send to the tower. Why? Because, because that's where the biggest brain of them all is located. This is the hub of the pipe network, the engine's core, its heart, the nucleus of the meta... Well, y you understand. The fact is, this is the most advanced and scientific task anyone's ever taken on, and we're doing it. You should be proud. Why are you doing it? Well, I... I... I don't quite know. Because we can? Because no one else can? Because the Prophet told us to, and gave us the tools to do it. So, you don't know what it's for? I write the instructions. I'm the, um, I'm the man in the middle. Someone tells me what they need, and I tell the engine how to compute the answer. This is my job. Who knows what the engine is for? The Six, probably. The Prophet, certainly. Emissary Saya, I would imagine. This is above my pay grade. Above your... I was hired to write instructions for the engine and compute the spheres, not to ask questions. And... and not to answer yours either, Mir. You really should go before someone comes. We'll both be in terrible trouble. They usually check on me all the time. I wonder why they haven't. I still don't understand. Why build all of this here in Mercuria? Why not in Sadir? Because of the tower and what's below it. Vast eddies of, um, meta-energies. Meta... Do you mean magic? <laughs> magic? Magic! Of course not magic. This engine is, is, is the opposite of magic. It's the culmination of everything Azadir has strived for these last hundred years. An end to chaos and uncertainty. An end to superstition and irrationality. An end to magic. When the engine's fully operative and the programming complete, we won't need sorcerers or witchcraft anymore. We'll be able to do anything we want with science. Reshape reality, rewrite the laws of the cosmos, remove death and disease, poverty and warfare. The world will be run by scientists for the betterment of humanity. What do dreams have to do with it? The engine feeds on the, on, on the building blocks of reality. Um, Ideas, stories, dreams. 
magic is highly detrimental to the system. See, sorcery causes chaos, injects uncertainties and, and, and fallacies into our calculations. So, is that why magicals are, are being relocated? We can't have them around while the engine's calculating. But as soon as we're done... We you can... believe they're being relocated? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, of course. I mean, it's what they told us. Why would they lie? It's simple. The engine isn't compatible with magic, and we don't want anyone getting hurt. There's no room for sorcery in Mercuria. The Magicals are better off in their new homelands. They're being sent to prison camps. Re-education camps. This is true, yes, but only temporarily. This is their first stop. Afterwards, they're given passage to their new homelands, where they can- Do you really believe that? What would the Magicals be re-educated to do? Forget that they're Magicals? No, Fadaus. That's not the truth. They're imprisoned. Killed. They're not given a new home. But they told us. They said they were... They, they promised they'd be safe. And happy. And... Oh, light protect them. So this is why we're sending all the Magicals away from Mercuria. Because of the engine. I... Yes. Yes. That's why. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> there are children. There are. They lied to us. Do you need to remove all Magicals before starting up this calculating engine? It's already running. I'm... I'm not... As long as the thermaturgical interference is below the acceptable threshold for... Pretend that I'm a very small and possibly very stupid child. Oh. Uh, no. No, they don't, they don't need to get rid of all of the Magicals. Just enough not to disrupt our calculations. We'll be done instructing the network in a couple of days. After that, they can pull the lever whenever they want. That's the last component of the engine. The tower. The one that will start feeding on and molding the dreams. Changing the world for the... For the better. Yeah. I, am. Um, I believe the official ceremony is a few days from now. The emissary will be there, together with the first, and the prophet, and... And... And please don't kill me. I'm not going to kill you. But what you're doing here is not the will of the goddess, Fadaus. Something is going on. Someone's... Kian. I had a feeling it was you. Mia? Goddess, what are you doing here, Hami? Where are your men? Right outside. They can be here in seconds. You, engineer. What's your name? I threatened him. He played no part in this. For Dows. I'm... For Dows. You lied. I beg your pardon? You promised they'd be safe. I've no idea what you're talking about. Go, for Dows. This is not about you. Just remember what I told you. You're not doing the work of the goddess here. Old Town was a distraction. Amon meant it to be a struggle, for my men to die. He wanted to take my mind off the investigation. Commander Vamon and the Emissary have been lying to me about your death. Why is that? Because I'm a danger to them. And it's not the only thing they've lied to you about. This engine... You betrayed us. You joined the enemy. To stop Sire and Vamon, not to fight our people. Not to fight you. Sister Sire is the Emissary. Commander Vamon is your superior officer. They are your people. They are traitors, Mir. They have betrayed our nation, our faith, and- You should have come to me first, Apostle. You should have come to me. Instead, you've shamed me. You've shamed Mother Utana, the Six, the Goddess, your nation. When I received word someone had been spotted entering this house, I had a feeling it was you. I entered alone for two reasons. One, as a courtesy to the mother, it would break her heart again to hear that you perished in dishonor, fighting my guard. And two, your living proof that Vamon has lied to me. I cannot reveal my hand to Vamon, but I also cannot let you go. You'll surrender to me now, without struggle, 
and you'll be brought to Sadir tonight, in secret. The courts will decide your fate. For the time being, while I sort out this mess, you'll be locked away under a false name. No one will know you're alive. When I'm ready to confront the Commander and the Emissary with their lies, I will reveal the truth about your survival, and you will cooperate every step of the way. Ask Sire and Vermon about the camps, and what they're doing to- You lied. You lied to us. You told us they would not be harmed. You told us they'd be safe. There were children! Get off me, Oh idiot. no. Oh Go. no. Go! Go, Keon! Make them pay for this! Oh boy. Stop that! Get off me! I'll have you beheaded for this. Shadow, damn you, man! Leave this place! Now! Oh, he's watching the whole thing? Wow. Well, that was very interesting. Yes? Mother. It's the General. He asks to speak with you. Send him in, child. Hami. Is anything the matter? It's Kian. He's alive. Oh! Goddess. Goddess, be praised. How do you know this? He broke into the engine room down on City Green. Light. What was he doing there? Speaking with one of the engineers, Fadaus, a young man from the southern provinces. Kian said... Oh, well, it's of no consequence. He's a traitor. He's joined the resistance. But... It is as I suspected. We have been lied to by Vamon and the Emissary. For what reason? That I don't know. Yet. And until we do, we cannot confront the Mother. I agree. We don't know how firm their grip is on the tower. If they know that we know... What about Kian? Was he... Uh, how did he look to you? He looked strong. Different, but strong. He must have his reasons for doing what he's doing, Hami. Kian would never betray Azadir or his faith. Perhaps, but that's what he's doing. I gave him the honorable choice to turn himself in and face righteous judgment. But he fled like a coward when the engineer attacked me. Attacked? I don't blame the man. Kian poisoned his mind with baseless lies. My men detained him, and I placed him somewhere safe, somewhere he can't tell anyone what he saw and heard. Out of Vamon's reach. We need to keep this between us, or we run the risk of alerting the commander and emissary Saya. Much as I'd like to hunt down Kian myself and put him to the sword, we must be patient. Let's trust the goddess, Hami, to illuminate our path and bring us to the truth. I certainly hope she will. Okay, here we are back at the bar. Let's go tell them. Well, let's see what our goals are now. Speak with the others. Well, that's going to be easy. Kian, thank the balance you're back. Bip's been... They've taken him. Taken. Yeah. Light. Are you sure it's Bip? I knew this would happen. We have no time to spare. We must get to him before... The cloud ship just unmoored and is already heading for Guillen. It's too late. Then we must follow. And abandon your mission here for one child's life. Is it because he's a magical that he's not worth the trouble? You're such an angry, angry man. Do you really want Kian to leave Makiria and risk his life to save one boy? I thought so. This is what happens when we let Azadi criminals live. Uh, stop it. That's not what happened. See, and you I thought it. Bip I got grabbed by away. Kian. I know why. But... And I know what the pipes are for. What? Really? Are you serious? I'll explain later. 
Right now, we need to rescue the boy. Well, you're not going after him. That's not your decision to make, Anna. Can we really afford to lose more people? We've lost so many already. And the Ani has her hands full with those who've been injured. Soon, there won't be enough of us left to fight. I need to think about this. I can't just abandon the boy, but... We can't stay here. The Azadi are hunting me. The General knows I'm alive. Honey? How did that happen? Did you approach him? Are you trying to curry favors with your former masters? Oh my masters? gosh, he's so favors. suspicious. How would I even... I'm not trying to curry any favors with... Stop it, both of you! You're really annoying! And loud! Let's get out of here before all of it gets in trouble for harboring a fugitive. Shepard will want to have a say in the discussion. This isn't over, Kian. Oh, hush. Chapter 7, Hunted. Okay, let's see what we're doing now. Thursday, September 28th, 2220. Are we Assembly back as Zoe? Heightened security across Europolis until after the upcoming elections. The Propass district remains under full eye lockdown and 24-hour curfew. We're now joined by Marek Farah in Propass. And Marek, how are regular people in Propast handling this very difficult situation? Well, Rika, as you can see, the streets here are deserted. Almost two months after the August attack on the I headquarters in Propast. There's security everywhere, and everyone who goes outside is subject to random searches and arrests. There is a 24-hour curfew in effect, but people are allowed to traverse the districts as long as they carry the appropriate paperwork and submit to any searches and questions. What about essentials like food and water, Marek? <laughs> this is funny, I guess, for cooking. I think this is done. Mm, it smells Rika, good. But rations are distributed to residents of Propast on a regular basis. Uh, medical personnel are on constant Okay, standard. so... No one here is in any immediate danger of starvation. Has what am I going to do? Put it on my plate? Lockdown will continue. The Syndicate is not saying, Rika, but spokespeople have hinted that Propast will remain under Syndicate guardianship until after the election in... And now what? We appear to have lost our connection to Marek Farah in He's Propast. standing up, we will like an animal. To the connection. It hasn't come to that. In the meantime, yet. when we come back, we talk to someone very close to Marxist leader and terrorist mastermind, Marta Rebus, about her dark and... Shit. Uh -oh. Again. I'm sure they're doing this just to screw with us. I'll have to check the emergency fuel cell in the kitchen cabinet. It should have kicked in by now. Okay, our journal's been updated. Haven't looked at the journal in a long time. Um, all the way down here, September 28th. This year just keeps on giving. I'm going to call this the giving year. Um, at least I still have Reza. It's a big mess. Did I make the right decision in giving the daddy to, data to Sully? Oh, she's being all fatalistic. Okay, let's see how we're going to find this. Oh, there she is. Okay, so where is this box we're supposed to find? I can jiggle it a bit. That sometimes works. Nope, that did not work. I guess I need a new one. And I know just the person. Who's just the person? Get a new fuel cell from Mira at Pandemonium. Okay. Where's the way out? 
right there. And I bet there's going to be stuff going on there, too. It's never as easy as it sounds at first. Zoe Maya Castillo. Your district is subject to syndicate mandated martial law. Please submit an approved destination or return to your home. Oh, wow. Thank you. The pandemonium is your only approved destination. I will accompany you. Please don't talk. Okay. So we're going to pandemonium accompanied by a robot. Nice. I am not deviating. There it is down there. Boy, things are getting really bad around here, aren't they? Okay, there's the buzzer. Did that machine come in with me? I don't see it. Okay, hello, Look Mira. what the butt dragged in. Maybe it's something I ate, but I actually feel relieved to see you, Petal. Are you all right? I'm really not. You? You know, Wit is not exactly vivacious company. It's been quiet around here since we closed shop. I apologize for firing you with a pre-recorded message, by the way. Company policy. Oh, don't worry about it. You said you closed shop. There's no business. We don't even have wire access. It's like being on a really shitty desert island without sun, sand, or coconuts. Or wire access. We're actually thinking about heading back to Mumbai. Well, I'm thinking about it. We will tag along wherever the road takes us. Anyway, you're here for your dreamer. What? I fixed it. Oh. You had your dream machine delivered to me because it was broken. About a month ago? I did. Okay. Does any of this ring a bell? Your friend, that German suit, said you'd come by to pick it up? He looked mm -hmm. like a Jaeger. I thought he was here to blow my brains out, but he was very personable. What was wrong with it? An early batch. Bad soldering. I fixed several like it in the past. FYI, it's an off-the-shelf model that pings Watty servers with a device ID and your biometric data as soon as you connect. That yeah, won't be you a don't problem want that. Unless they've put an alert out on you or that particular device. But I went ahead and blocked it anyway. Still, it is a licensed product. There may be other security measures. I cannot be 100% sure that it won't alert Watty. There are unlicensed streamers out there without any security chips. But Mr. London has that market locked up here in Procast. Given mm. the trigger-happy toy soldiers out there, I wouldn't know how to get hold of one. I'll be fine with this one. As long as you know the risks. If you weren't here for that, then why the house call? Oh, uh, fuel cell. The power went out and I don't have a working backup. That's not very smart, Kutia. Lucky for you, I'm up to my neck in fuel cells. Anything particular you're in the market for? The cheapest you have. Grab one from that box over there. They're refurbished cells, but they'll keep your apartment going for a few weeks at least. Bring it back before it goes dead. I'll refill it for you. Okay. 
We can't what talk to wet. I don't know why exactly, since we've never had a conversation, but I still miss the big guy. There's okay. a lot going on inside that head of his. From what box where? Over here? Aha. A fuel cell. So how much do I owe you? Consider it your severance package. If we're ever back in business, there will be a job for you. You're not too bad, Kurtia. Despite appearances. Hmm. Thanks, I guess. Okay, what else are we gonna use? Use the fuel cell to turn the power back on in your apartment, okay? Wait, I what happened to that data I decrypted for you? Who did you end up giving it to? <gasps> I gave uh -oh. it to the hand, but before they could publish they it... They were shut down. Where's the data now? With Reza, in Iceland. Iceland? Uh -oh. The final refuge of rogue journalists. You didn't keep a copy? I didn't want to risk it. Stupid, I oh know. You may have just saved your ass. Too bad about the story, though. When is your durable coming back? I really don't know. When they feel it's safe, I guess. That story needs to run, Kutri. Whatever it takes, make it happen. Yeah, it does. Okay. Do we have a new goal? No. All right. So maybe we did the right thing giving it to the hand that feeds. Because now all the data is safe. You have expended your daily time out. I will now accompany you back to your registered domicile. Oh, you're a Don't jerk. Bother. I know the way. Every step you take, I'll be watching you as mandated <laughs> by martial law. How about every breath I... Oh, I give up. Yeah, see, she knew the song. Okay, so back through here. They even Ms. point Estia? me. Ooh. Queenie is requesting your immediate audience. Well, how sure, am I going to do that? Uh, what about my, uh, my escort? You have arrived at your approved location. Have a nice day. Oh, interesting. You can come on board now. Impressive. We do our best. Okay. I'm glad you're back on your feet, Zoe. I was hoping to see you again before I left. You're leaving? I heard the hand was shut down. You had friends there. Good friends. Boyfriend. The hand was going to publish an article about Watercorp conspiring with both Unity and European Dawn when the syndicate shut them down. But they still have the evidence. My boyfriend Reza brought it to Iceland. The data's safe there, but the Hand hasn't been able to publish it. There's still a chance to make things right then. This is why I wanted to speak with you. You knew the woman who set off the bomb. Nella. You were there. I tried to stop her, but it was too late. I don't believe she planned to kill anyone. She wasn't... Nella was a good person. She cared about people. She gave me something to keep safe, but I lost it in the explosion. Maybe it could have explained why. Our lives are shaped by events beyond our control. The choices we make can point us down one road or the other. But where that road ultimately leads... Your friend's death was not of her own making. The device she used was rigged. It was meant to disrupt the eye, not to kill anyone. An EMP. How do you know this? Nela needed someone to help her assemble the device. Hannah came to me after the bombing. She was distraught. Of course, she had no idea what they were doing. But she is the link. She may be able to connect the bomb to the Syndicate. The Syndicate is behind the attack on their own people. Everyone is expendable. It all leads back to Watikorp, Zoe. They are consolidating their power and ridding themselves of loose threads. I'm leaving. This city is infected, rotting from the inside. You need to leave too, but first, there's something you must do. 
Your memories, they're coming back. I know what I need to do. The dream machine. Be very careful. Powerful forces are converging here and elsewhere. How do you... I've been around a long time. You learn to read the signs. You're fading, Zoe. Fading? Like a page that's been left out in the sun too long. Do what needs to be done. Do not hesitate any longer. I've given you time to regain your resolve, but we're almost out of it now. If we both make it through the storm ahead, I'll find you again. I hope so. I will. Now go home and do what needs to be done. Wake up. Well, there we go again being told to wake up. Is she dreaming all this? Now. How long have you known I was here? Do not mistake me for an old woman, Hannah. You told her about... There's no more time for secrets. Watikorp must be brought down. What you know will make a difference. But I don't have any actual proof they were involved. I only made deliveries. You know enough. Find the evidence. Work together with Zoe. How do you know we can trust her? She's like you. Someone who shapes dreams. I know. I mean, I guess when we met. But how is that even possible? I thought I was the only one. Why do you think you were drawn together? Coincidence is a powerful force. Zoe needs your help. A terrible shadow has fallen over her. How do you know this? I don't. I'm not a fortune teller, and the future is never crystal clear. It branches and divides, indefinitely and infinitely, but there are patterns and signs. If you know where to look. Do you have to leave? They know I'm here now. Watikorp has been looking for me a long time. I'm a... a loose thread. I promise I'll find you again, Hana. Your journey is just beginning. There are wonderful things in store for you. But for now, your job is to help Zoe finish her journey. Without that, without her, there will be no more stories. Afterwards, if the universe is still here, we can talk about the next chapter. Hmm, interesting. This is <laughs> taking all kinds of twists and turns I haven't been expecting. Okay. We can put our fuel cell back into the it's fuel cell. It's our emergency cell. fuel cell. This is supposed to kick in when there's, well, an emergency. Like, total darkness? That's an emergency. Okay, do I have to take... There we go. Okay, it's time to remember now. Enter dream time. So do we sit on the couch? Or do we get on the bed? Entering my second month of sleeping without Reza. We can't even talk, seeing as he's stuck in Iceland with Baruti's data and under constant syndicate surveillance. Hmm. Entering my second month of okay. sleeping without Reza. We can't even talk, seeing as he's stuck in Iceland with Baruti's data and under constant syndicate surveillance. So I just put this on my face then? I never knew my mother, but I've been told that in many ways she's the opposite of my father. Gabrielle never makes hasty choices. Gabrielle ponders, and when his mind's made up, he'll stick with his decision until the end. My mother's impulsive, mercurial. If the wind changes, she'll let herself be swept away with it, as long as it's to her benefit. She put me in a coma. I'm not a big fan. But maybe it's time I accept some risks. After all, I keep telling everyone I want to remember. 
I need okay. to enter dream time. I need to revisit the past. It's the only way to save the future. Okay, now what? Are we going to be given a choice? I think I'm going to save it here. No, I don't want to save and quit. Well, let's do it. You returned, but you were still not here. You must be here. Is this a dream? I thought I'd actually travel across this time. You were here, but never truly. Not yet. But you must come to... Ah! What Bro. the heck was that? Oh, hey guys, what's up? Crow? Your crow? You're Crow. I remember you. You do? I am. Wait. I remember you too. Of course you do. It's me. Don't Zoe. say anything. I've got this. Lorelei. Baby cakes. She's <laughs> mom. Who? I'm... Agneta. I'm sorry. Uh, how have you been? Oh, come That's on, not... Crow. Miss Aggie, I apologize for taking off without a word of warning. I didn't have a choice. I was needed. I'm not Agnita. I'm... Auntie May? No. Zoe. Where? Oh. Oh, Zoe. Yes. 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 The girl who was dreaming. You look different. Are you sure you're you? <laughs> Pretty sure. I don't know. You look a lot better than you used to, and your voice, it's sultry. You sound like a cinnamon bird. I don't even know what that means. I was in a coma for a while, maybe that's... What are you doing here, Crow? Are you really here? Let me check. Yup. All here, not a feather missing. So, where is here exactly? Whoa, Nelly! I didn't expect that. Uh, you, uh, you're memorable. Wait, Auntie May? No, no. Oh, come on. I Crow. was Abnaxus of the Venar. That's right. I remember you now. You were really annoying to talk to. Took ages to get anywhere. How have you been? I will not complain. I don't get it. This is just like that dream I've been having. Except for you, Crow, you're new. And improved. It's that preening routine I'm following. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. So why didn't I make it across? The connection was weak. Compromised. You were only half dreaming. Only half there. You will need to be all there. And soon, or it was too late, but you had brought the bird over. The bird will be the key. If you can just... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at this. Um... What has everyone else done? Oops, did I not move fast enough? <gasps> okay. It looked like most of them dodged. Oh! Someone was go. behind no. us. What? What's going on? Who, who are- There's little time. They are coming. But the hallway is clear. Leave, Fräulein. Schnell. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at this. Sally! Over here, quickly! This way. Where are we going? We need to 
get off the streets. Did Queenie send you? She said that you needed help. Why did you tell Queenie I wasn't doing so well? You weren't. That's not the point. I said I was fine. It wasn't up for interpretation. Sometimes it's better to just let people know rather than keep pretending. The eyes will be here soon. We need to go underground. How's that gonna help? We can't just hole up in one of those chambers forever. Trust me. And underground we go. Oh, this look at place. this. The world beneath. A network of tunnels covering all of Pro Past and beyond. I don't know how far it goes. This is amazing. Is this how you guys get around? For the most part. Some of the nests are only accessible from above ground, but you can get pretty much anywhere from here. Come on. Wait, where are we going? You spoke with Queenie. You know I helped Nella with that device. The one that killed all those people. You didn't know. And neither did Nella. You're right. But someone did. Someone does, and we're gonna put it right. Mr. London has a warehouse down here. It's where I'd pick up and make deliveries. <coughs> it was just a job, but... That's where we're going. To find evidence to connect Watty Corp to the bombing. This warehouse, is that where London keeps his unlicensed dream machines? He keeps everything in there. Why? I need one. For after we clear Nella's name. Long story. Tell me later. We need to go. It's only a matter of time before the eyes start digging deeper. Okay, I guess we need to find, follow Nella and explore this area, and we will do that in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you're enjoying it, leave a comment, leave a like, perhaps subscribe, and I will see you back in Dreamfall Chapters. Bye-bye for now.